Autobots and the Decepticons has taken a new turn. The appearance of the Requiem Blaster has raised the stakes for both warring parties. Optimus Prime has possession of the weapon. Megatron knows this could spell defeat for the Decepticons, but only if the Autobots can figure out how to control the most powerful weapon in the universe. Transformers. Optimus Prime may have the Requiem Blaster, but I'm not beaten yet. That's the way. Make me invincible. Why is Megatron working the Minicon so hard? Well, I guess he wants a tuna. He needs it. <laughs> he has the Brody still in charge. Everything is going as planned, Megatron. Do not fail me, Thrust. Yes, sir. I'm aware that the Requiem Blaster could change the course of the war. Hmm. If we can get our hands on it, we'll be able to settle the score with the Autobots once and for all. It's important that we achieve this. Then we can begin the domination of the universe. <laughs> Look! Your Guardian Star is very bright tonight, sir. I believe it might actually swallow up every other star around it. <laughs> this must surely be a sign that you will crush the Autobots, conquer the universe, and lead the Decepticons back to planet Cybertron. As long as Optimus Prime still has the Requiem Blaster, your words mean nothing. Get it for me, and I will see that you reap rewards far beyond anything you can imagine. You can count on me, Megatron. Ever since Optimus brought the Requiem Blaster back to the base, it's caused a lot of arguments among the rest of the Autobots. But why? You saw its power? If we use the Requiem Blaster, it'll give us the upper hand that we need to defeat the Decepticons! Alright, let's do it, Optimus. If you want, I'll take care of them myself by getting into their base, okay? Even if we were to charge into the Decepticon base, and we do suffer damages because of it, I still think it's worth it for us to use the Requiem Blaster. I agree with Blur. This is a gift! Let's do it, Optimus! We can get rid of the Decepticons in one fell swoop! It makes sense. Optimus, your call. Shh! You guys have got to stay quiet or else we'll get caught. Rad, do you really think we should be doing this? Don't worry about it. We're actually doing these Minicons a big favor. You see, they don't want to fight, but if they stay here, they might end up being used as weapons. Hey, Rad, keep it down. We're on the run, remember? Boy, oh. Hey, you guys, you guys, over here! Hey, Rad, how's it going? Hey. What are you up to now, Thrust? I am accessing something the humans on Earth use to track objects on their planet. It's called a satellite, and I think I can find those minicons with it. Huh. So humans are good for something after all. That's news to me. If you don't want the Autobots to target you with a Requiem Blaster, then I suggest you help me with this search. What? We'll get right on it. Remember, it's too risky to go after them directly. We have to keep a close eye on them and wait for the perfect opportunity. <laughs> I understand how you all feel. Then we'll do it! Before I make my final decision, I want to talk to the Minicons that create the Requiem Blaster. What? Sparkplug, go get the Minicons for me. what this Minicon is talking about? What? He just said the Minicons were gone. <gasps> Come to think of it, I haven't seen the kids around today either. Then let's move out and find them. The bus headed for Central City will be leaving from Platform 7. All ticket holders, please line up at Platform 7 now. <laughs> You sure have been writing for a long time, Fred. Uh, I'm just doodling. Show me. Huh? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Now let's see. Dear Mom, I just want to thank you for all the great 
foods you've made me over the years. I especially enjoyed your spaghetti and meatballs. The sauce was a haunting blend of herbs and spices, and the things you can do with a pot roast are truly inspirational. Yours truly, your son, Fred. I will never eat that good again. Give me a break. Come on, it's not like we're running away or anything. Once the mini cons are safe, we'll be on our way back home. Really? Back in time for supper? Oh, sweet! Fred, only you could write a love letter about food. <laughs> Oh, what a day. I'm really beat. Would you stop that? I'm really sorry. Hey, you must be from out of town, right? Wow, I've never heard of a place like that. Say it again, okay? Oh my, your voice. It's cute. There now. Nice, Sally. You want a biscuit? Wow, you sure have big hands. I bet you're into karate. Am I right? I got the tickets! Huh? 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 Oh, no, you don't. Sorry, miss. He's on a diet. Hey, our boss is leaving! See ya! Huh? Whew, that was a close call. Man, that could have really blown our cover. Hey, why didn't you guys keep an eye on him? Sorry. It's Fred's fault. He was writing down recipes. Hey, that is a lie. We better hurry and get on the bus. Guys, it's over this way. <laughs> Sir, they're not on the second level. Or D block either. Well, we've searched the whole base. Hmm. But where could they have gone? This is no time to be playing a game of hide-and-seek! I know they wouldn't do that without telling us first. That means... It means that the Minicons are gone! Optimus, sir? We'll have to search for them in the city. Hotshot, Blur, I want you two to maintain constant radio contact. Yes, yes sir! sir. Anything to report? No sign of them, Optimus. There's nothing in my area either. Maybe they're not in this town anymore. They have to be here. They couldn't have traveled that far. Oh, this is so boring! I don't know why I have to watch the base. I bet I could have found them on my own. You'd stand out too much. And we can't afford to let the people of this planet find out our identities yet. So for the time being, you'll have to learn to blend in the way I have. What's he talking about? He stands out way more than I do. It's Optimus Prime! Why is he traveling the highway on his own? Hmm, he must be up to something. Oh, that store? That's where we humans go and buy the food that we eat. Oh, and look, that's a baseball field. I'll teach you how to play sometime. Ha! They really like to learn. Ask me a question if you want. Huh? That's them, all right. I found them! Where are they? They're on a bus, and they're headed out of town. So the kids suck the minicons out on us after all. Looks that way. Why would they do that? To teach us a lesson? Let's not worry about that now. Let's just catch up with them. Ow! I was so close! Let me through! Aw, oh, come on! Wait! Uh, Optimus? Hmm. Now Optimus is following that bus. Could it be? I have the Minicons in sight. I'll be there soon, I hope. How long is this train anyway? <sighs> Sorry, Optimus, I'm stuck in traffic. <sighs> well, that's not gonna happen to me. I'll stick to the side streets. 
Until we can all meet up, it's up to Optimus to catch that bus. <laughs> Give me a break. You want to hide the Minicons in a cornfield? You bet. Why? <laughs> uh, we're going over there, silly. Ah. Hey, Alexis, how much farther is it? We're almost there. Come on. Oh, I'm so hungry. That's it. 